Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this trailer title, create a new composition. Here I will name it as main title. For this composition, I will set the time duration to just 3 seconds. Remaining everything will be same. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. Now in effects and preset, search for gradient tramp, add it to the solid layer. Here you can set color according to your choice. Adjust position. Set shape to, radial ramp. Set ramp scatter to, 500. Perfect. Now add the texture media file to the timeline, for texture, press T to bring up opacity, change opacity to, 10%. Now let's add the text. For this text layer, I will be using a Vengeance Heroic font family. Font size to bold. Or you can use regular. Increase the font size. Align the text to center. Perfect. Now let's animate the text, in animate. Select tracking. At one second, create keyframe for tracking. At start, increase tracking value as shown. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Now again add the texture image to the timeline. Place it below the text layer. Pre-compose this texture layer. Name it as texture. Select move all attributes into the new composition. For texture, change track mat to luma mat text layer. For texture composition. In effects and preset, search for sharpen. Add it to the texture composition. Set sharpen amount to, 10. Now from project panel, add the smoke media file to the timeline. Slightly scale the smoke media file. Now add the particle dust media file. Now add the small particles media file to the timeline. For this particle dust, you can position them above the text layer.
you can see the individual preview also. You can also create duplicate of this media, position it, perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for transform, add it to the adjustment layer. Now in transform, for position. We will add wiggle expression, while pressing ALT key, click on stopwatch of position. Now enter, wiggle, 10 comma 10. We will trim this adjustment layer at 1 second and 15 frames. Now let's create a new camera layer. Change texture composition and text composition to 3D. Change all the media files to 3D. Create a new null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null layer. For null, press P to bring up position. At 10 frames, create keyframe for position. At start of the timer line, increase position value for Z axis as shown. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let on the motion blur for texture, text layer. Perfect. Now from project panel. Let's add the gunshot media file to the timer line. For this gunshot, change Mo to add. You can position it wherever you want. Also adjust their position on the timer line. You can also create multiple duplicates of this gunshot. Here I will create 4 to 5 duplicates of this gunshot. You can also scale this media file. Perfect. For background, here I will slightly adjust the position of the start and end of ramp. Perfect here our one composition is ready, now let's see how to create multiple compositions. Here I will create three duplicates of this main title composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. I will rename them as 1, 2, and 3. Now let's open composition 1, 2, and 3. Here we will remove these gunshot media files. 
Now let's change the text. Do the same for remaining 1 and 2 compositions. Here are three text titles and main title is ready. Now let's create our final composition. Name it as trailer. Here I will set time duration to 5 seconds. Now add all the created compositions to the timeline. Now position them in sequence of 3, 2, 1 and main title. Now adjust their position on the timeline as shown. Now create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Now double click on the rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, change shape, set unit 2 percent of source. Top 2, 10 percent. Bottom 2, 90 percent. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here you can see our trailer title is created. Similarly, you can create multiple titles and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.